Let's graph this nonlinear equation. This is a function. By the way, if you'd like, you can call it y is equal to the absolute value of x plus 2. Because remember, y is a function of x. So y is equal to g of x here. Either way, we're going to write down ordered pair solutions of our function. If x is negative 3, here or here, it makes no difference. The absolute value of negative 3 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. If x is negative 2, the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. The absolute value of negative 1 is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. Absolute value of 0 is 0. Plus 2 is 2. Absolute value of 1 is 1. Plus 2 is 3. The absolute value of 2 is 2, plus 2 is 4, and the absolute value of 3 is 3, and 3 plus 2 is 5. Let's plot these ordered pair solutions so we'll see what the shape of g of x looks like. At negative 3, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 3, 5. At negative 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, so negative 2, 4. At negative 1, 3. At 0, 2. 1, I go up to 3 again. 2, 4. And 3, 5. Now, it's not the same shape as a quadratic. An absolute value is more of a V shape. There's a sharp turn here. So this is the graph of y is equal to absolute value of x plus 2, or g of x is equal to absolute value of x plus 2. But this is an absolute value, and this is v-shaped.